All right, let's take a look at functions inside of Robot Mesh. So we, we've looked at if statements, we looked at um, while loops. So now let's take a look at some functions. We've got a little robot. Um, this time what we're going to do is create a function for forward, right, left, and reverse. So I'm going to go click on this functions button here, and I've got this line that says to do something. I'm going to grab to do something, put it here, and we're going to call this forward. So we'll call that forward. Now in here, I'm going to put a little code that makes the robot go forward. I'm not going to use the drivetrain function anymore. I'm just going to be using the Vexide cube motors. And the reason behind that is you could apply what we're learning today in functions to a lifting mechanism, a claw, or any number of other things on the Vex robot. It's not just a drivetrain thing. So I'm going to go Vex IQ motors, click on that. And I've got motor begin running forward power 100. I'll pull that over so you can see the line. So that's the right motor. If I right click and duplicate, I'll put another line in there. And we'll make that the left motor. And for now, I'm just going to set the power to 40. So I've got a basic. It's going to run forward. If I come back to the functions, now forward has shown up in here. So I've got forward. I can click on that, stick it in there. If I hit play, it's going to go forward for a split second and just do nothing. Because I haven't given it any sort of time, I haven't told it to stop. So if I said robot mesh, sleep for three seconds, and hit play, it'll drive forward for three seconds. Now, I don't know why it stops. It should just keep going on forever, unless I put a stop function in there. But let's take this, we'll just set this aside for now. So I've got my forward set up. I can right click and duplicate this and make another one. So let's say I want to turn to the right. To turn to the right, I need to make the right motor go reverse. So we'll call this right. And let's duplicate this again. And we'll say left. And to go left, we need to reverse the left motor. So like so, I can come back into functions and you can see them showing up here. So there's right, we'll add that in, functions, we'll left, we'll duplicate the time again. So forward, right, left for three seconds. And then at the end, let's see, I can turn off the individual motors. Let's um, make a new function for stop. So I'm going to do something again. Set this over here to stop bot. We'll go Vex IQ motors and turn off power. Duplicate. Set that to the left motor. And now we can go function stop bot and stick that in there. If I hit play, it's going to go forward for three seconds. It's going to turn around to the right for three seconds. And it's supposed to go left for a bit there. So let's get rid of my old code, which somehow got stuck in there. So forward, right, left, and stop. Ah, because I messed up in left. So this should have actually been reverse. There, let's try it this time. So stop and play. So it's forward for three seconds, turns right for three seconds, turns left for three seconds. Now to do a reverse, we would just duplicate this again. And I'll stick it down at the bottom. And for reverse, it would be just reverse and reverse. And that's it. So that's basic functions. Now, next tomorrow we'll go over a few more options that we can do for creating these functions. For now, have a play. See if you can get it to drive around in a predetermined script. Start with a square, possibly, and then see if you can drive all the way around the field.